Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. It is approximately 11 a.m. in Honolulu. It is Tuesday, the 29th day of November, and this is the daily report for gold and silver. Mix bag today with gold trading higher and silver currently trading lower. Silver off about 12 cents, currently trading at 31.94, back below $32, continuous COMEX contract at 32.005. In gold, we do have that higher this morning. It is trading up about $6 on the day, 17.16. 50, as you can see, that is on our cash market continuous contract in the COMEX at 17.14.80. In the news today is the fact that there is currently a meeting going on in Brussels and this is in regards to the European Union and their effort right now to enlarge the amount of money, the bailout funds, because quite honestly, they do not have enough money to cover the bailout. So the discussion right now is to enhance the role of the IMF and for the central banks, the European central banks, to basically funnel some money over to the IMF and the, the IMF to help with some stability in the market. Now, they're very good at talk. There's no doubt about that. And as we look at our daily contract of gold, here is what I am noticing. In terms of a candlestick pattern, yesterday, that move, the $30 move, was what is called an engulfing bullish these two candles right in here the green candle totally engulfs the down day which is the prior trading day now in order to take that call you need to have what is known as a confirming candle and we have part of the criteria but not all of the criteria and that's what's held me back from issuing a buy trigger in the market and that is that on the following candle what you want to see is a higher closing day so it's got to be a green candle with a higher high and a lower low now the candle should be a long candle or a long green candle and that's what we're not getting we're not getting any kind of size or follow through we do have a market that's higher but you would want to see something like this where you had a really nice breakout on the day now what am i looking for in this market my personal sentiment at this point is that in terms of where this market could actually go my sentiment right now is right around 1741 let me try to line this up for us here but I think anywhere between 1739 and 1741 that is in terms of the area right in between these two lines and because we have a small harmonics going on right within this area here my sentiment is that this little rally that we're experiencing I think is going to be short-lived at best. I haven't gotten real confirmation that we're up, up, and away, but I think that it wouldn't be out of the realm of possibility to see the market trade up to around 1740 and then trade back down for one last wave within the correction before it terminates if it's going to be a truncated, a truncated correction. Realize that on a truncated C wave, this C has got to unfold and resolve itself really before you get to A. It can happen at any point because it's basically a, a uh, C wave failure in terms of a corrective wave. This counter wave that we experienced was strong. There's no doubt about that. And the correction that we witnessed was fairly strong because when we take a look at just the raw data and the retracement that we saw, and let me kind of clear the board up so you can see just that retracement. And simply what I've done is we're looking at one Fibonacci retracement sequence. And this sequence begins at the bottom or conclusion of A all the way. It's the entire B wave. And what you'll see is that this move down that we saw was almost exactly a 50% retracement of that move. And so that falls within the specific parameters that we can see on a basic retracement. 
The second thing is we do have very strong support between 1664 and 1680. So to me, we've got valid support in this area. But I'm just not seeing the kind of follow through that I would like to see after seeing this consolidation, this set of alternating candles. I would like to, I'd feel more comfortable even if we saw the market break out and break above, say this 1735. For right now, my sentiment is that it could still simply move to this point and then, as I said, have one more leg down. But we'll have to see. There's no doubt that this market has a mind of its own. It moves in ways that it wants to and not in ways that we want it to. Traders, we are looking at the spot or cash silver daily candlestick chart. And as you can see, currently trading at 31.94, 31.95. But the key is, is that it's resting just at a genuinely strong Fibonacci harmonics. And for those of you who have been with me for some time, you know that what I'm talking about with a harmonics is when you have two different Fibonacci time sequences and you get information that gives you numbers or sequence numbers that are very close or the same. And that's what we're getting here because we have two basic Fibonacci sequences. The first one starts end of January from about 2587 up to the record top, call that at around $49.50 per ounce. The second one goes from $44.14 down to this low here or the same low, and that's a, again at around $26. And what you can see is as follows you get a 76% retracement, $31.90, and a 76% retracement, $31.51. So you have a true harmonics area. And those areas, those harmonics areas, to me, become significant. Now, we have one other harmonics that you can see, and that is right here. This 61 matches up with this 61. And so what I find interesting, and this is that harmonics band right in here, and when we take a look at it, what we see is as follows. And that is, when the market was trading up in this area, this proved to be resistance that the market simply couldn't overcome. And you can see that it's right at this band where it had trouble and began to stall out. As the market comes down, you can see that right in this area, Again, the market did go through the area and actually came to about the 76% level of this shorter term retracement sequence right in here, but it is now resting just at this area. So what am I looking for? Well, the first thing is, can it hold this area? Because it's a pretty critical area. If it cannot, my guess, my estimate is that we'll probably trade back down to right around $30 per ounce. If it's able to hold this area, it should have fairly clear sailing. It will have a little bit of resistance at around 33, 32.90 right in here, and then a lot of resistance, resistance that so far it's not been able to overcome at $35 per ounce. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. And we'll talk to you tomorrow for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.